everybody. Happy Sewing Buzz. Happy April. Happy first Sunday. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Sewing Buzz. Thank you guys so much for your support and tuning in today. For those who are new to the channel, welcome. The Sewing Buzz is a video that I do once a month. It's typically the first Sunday of the month and I talk about pattern releases from the month before. So in March, you know, those patterns that have released and it's typically only indie patterns that I'm talking about, not um, commercial patterns, unless there's something special going on uh, with commercial patterns or something that I need to share, I'll do that. And I also share things, maybe I, I'll talk about a new um, sewing tool or my favorite sewing tool, maybe if I'm keeping up with things, what's going on in the sewing community, if you have been following, you all know after BHM February, um, March was also pretty busy for me. Went back to Wisconsin and I was gone for a few days and then, um, yeah, so it was kind of busy. So I really didn't get a ton in, you know, what was going on, um, in March because I was really focused on family and different stuff like that. But I do know a few things. Let me tell you a few things. Um... And I do. One of the other things, because you all know I try to think about refreshing different content I want to bring during the sewing buzz. And so I did ask, uh, I think it was a couple sewing buzzes ago, uh, would you be interested in me doing, you know, showing maybe bag patterns or something like that? Because most of my videos are garment related and I do need to get back into some of my bag making. There's a few bags and a couple things, different things like that that I want to um, at least make, uh, test out, see how I like it and see if it's something I'm gonna um, make for myself or whatever. And so um, you all did say that, so I do have I have one for you. It is this one. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. I'll be, and it's a free pattern. So I will be talking about that at the end. Um, and I will be sure to put chapters at the bottom of the screen. So if you want to skip ahead and different stuff like that, you most certainly can. So that's what's going on. And, uh, also a few things. So, <laughs> I am looking at, if you would have seen one, so we're going to jump right in. What's going on in the sewing community? Uh, first, let me start here. Pattern pick of the month. Thank you guys. We are in Butterick. It is the Butterick patterns, the pattern in focus. Um, again, for this quarter, so April, May, and June will be all Butterick patterns. I did a, I showed you all my Butterick and Quick Sew patterns. I'll pop up the link to that video up here if you want to go check it out. But you all said, let's do Butterick because Quick Sew is kind of hard to find um, and different things like that. Or you know, maybe some of them might be out of print. I think most of the ones I had were out of print. But what is the uh, subscriber pick for the month of April? Okay, had to go run and grab it. It is Butterick 6333. Now this pattern is still available on the Simplicity site. I feel like I only saw it for um, PDF, but I feel like I still saw it in the drawers at Joanne Fabrics. So during a Butterick sale or something like that, you can probably pick this up. I have the size pack of 18 through 18W through 24W. Um, I did take a peruse through the instructions. I am going to do view A, the sleeveless version. I think, don't hold me to it, but I think I should be able to do a sew along. I should be able to do a sew along. I did not see one out there um, that I can reference. So perhaps this is one I can do a sew along for. And so they did a, this, it looks like the same fabric I'm about to show you. Um, what is that called? An anglaise, but mine is, um, it says bra, oh, they use the eyelet. Uh, they, the fabric calls for broadcloth, linen, eyelet, shirting, chambray, denim. Um, this would be fabulous in a denim. Um, but I am going to do, and I'll pop up the line drawing too. I am going to do view A. I love that this has princess seams. If you all um, are don't know, for those who are newer to the channel, maybe for those who have been around know this, I prefer princess seams over darts, bust darts 
all day every day it's just the easiest easier way to fit um, for me in my opinion and there is a way to transform a darted bust into a princess seam bust and um into princess seams and so i've seen several videos across youtube over the years to show this i feel like professor pin cushion have something from years ago but i've seen it and so but anyway i love that this has uh princess seams and i like the full skirt the and everything i am going to use this this here is a um uh a eyelet uh where did i get this oh just picked this up in my haul you guys forgive me i'm tired i actually stay tuned because i do have two really good videos coming up and i actually filmed them both today it was i did a lot of filming today while i was out and i'm just getting home it's almost four o'clock and i've been gone since like nine o'clock this morning but anyway um so see there it is and, but the thing is this is knit it has stretched so this pattern calls for um woven so what i am going to do is definitely go down a size in this i want it to still be because if you look at the line drawing it's not fitted at all you see looks fitted but it doesn't appear to be fitted so i don't want it to be fitted but since this does have stretch in it it you know it will stretch um some so um yeah, I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> I'm going to go. Y'all know how I do. I'm just going to go for it. So thank you all for the pattern pick. Stay tuned for this. This is coming up at the end of April. You will see this. Um, so yeah, if you have the pattern, let's get ready. Because I, like I said, I did go through the instructions. I should be able to do a sew along for that. So stay tuned. Next, um, I wanted to talk about, oh, if you saw you'll see the video coming up on wednesday so stay tuned i'll have my review of the vogue 2000 um i am a minerva brand ambassador and so they did they sent me the entire kit everything included so i'll talk about that because i did have to make some adjustments and so you'll learn if i did a full bus adjustment or um what did i do so I'll let you know that on Wednesday. So stay tuned. You will see that on Wednesday. Lady Dane is sitting like right over there. So yeah, I have to remember to tell you about that. So come back on Wednesday for full on all of that. Now, so far as new pattern releases. Now remember, I did say March. I was just head down. It was just a lot going on in March. And so there are two patterns I want to lift up to you. Was it just two? A sewing challenge and a pattern in two patterns. The sewing challenge I want to talk about because I saw this pop up on Instagram across the cloth edit Instagram feed. It is called Sew April Blouse 24. And so, um, yeah. And I know a lot of people, I've been seeing people like share like what they're doing and if they're going to be making that. And so participating in that challenge. So what a great way to transition on in into spring and summer. So I'll just leave a link to the Instagram post and then you can go see all the rules and everything. But that challenge is going on from April 1st through April 30th. Now, so far as the pattern releases, okay, you guys, it was amazing with this first pattern release because I knew it was good. I really wanted to um, do it up for you guys and make sure that when it released, you know, you saw mine, but because I am making so many, well, not so many, I'm just making a, a, a simple modification, not so many, that was an exaggeration, um, <laughs> a simple modification, but when you do the pattern releases, it needs to be made up in the original style and design of the pattern and so since I knew I wasn't going to do that um because it's hot here and long uh jeans I, I 
yeah, I can't do full on jeans right now. Um, so, or at least I'm not interested in making them up full on jeans, but yeah, these will be coming back in the fall, but I will have the modification that I'm going to do. Um, I'll have that for you. Stay tuned towards the end of the month. You'll see that because I already have the denim. I shared the denim with you, but it is the Love Notions Crescendo jeans. And yeah, those were so super popular so super popular if you have if you already follow love notions um already their newsletter you know that they said it was their most popular pattern release um that they've had and so yeah this here this one was a good one and so real quick note for those who do follow me because you know as i am a love notions brand ambassador for those that don't know but for those that do I um, have a coupon code. It's SND2. You'll see it on the screen. It changes every quarter. So now it is SND2 because it's the second quarter. And so you can use that code to get an additional 10% off whenever there's a Feature Friday. I usually post the Feature Friday $5 patterns on Friday over on Instagram youtube short and over on facebook and so um i do share it in those three different places and so if you decide you want to grab a feature friday five dollar pattern you can get an additional 10 percent off if you use my code snd2 thank you everybody who already used the code i greatly appreciate it but let me let's get into the details of the jeans so these are high waist pull-on jeans there's four different styles which is really nice you got the um, flare leg boot cut straight and skinny you have the full and flat bust adjustments you have real pockets front and back and it is meant for woven bottom weight stretch fabrics and it goes from zero to 32. Now the thing with the fabric that I know for sure is that stretch denim like flew off the shelves um, when this pattern came out because Love Notions had it, um, so much fabric had it and then there was a list of fabric stores that Love Notions shared and like all those shops I feel like sold out like quick because this is a really good pattern. It is really good and if you did not grab it, go ahead and grab it and get 10% off at least use um snd2 to get 10% off and so um my fabric you'll hear about it but my fabric came from la finch fabrics but yes i'll link to their video because there is a video that they um did on their channel that talked about uh things to know before sewing up um pull on jeans or you know those jeans that they uh just released so i'll link that in the description box the in the description box will be a link to everything um that i am talking about okay so the next uh jean pattern and i wanted to test this as well i didn't have the bandwidth to test this i just did not have time but i wanted to um <laughs> But at the same time, I might have wanted to do the same thing that I'm doing with this. Um, however, because the style of this jean, and this is by Itch to Stitch Patterns, it's the Belleville jeans, totally different style. And so um, I was thinking, had I been able to um, test for this, because I really wanted to, I would have done this in a linen. Um, not a hundred percent because that's just too wrinkly. Um, but you know, the, uh, linen mix blend mix. And so just to see how it turned out, because I do like the style of this, the feature for this is also high rise. It's above the ankle length. That's the, that's the design. Um, there are darts at the knees and the front hem. Now see, that was a feature that I was like, Oh, and you all know, I, enjoy itch patterns and so her instructions are always really good and i was like oh now that's a nice feature that's a nice feature and then it has the classic five pocket design um and then it has a pocket stay to keep pockets in place and trim the tummy it's designed for non-stretch bottom weight fabric so that's why i would have considered doing a linen blend mix for um for these something lighter weight and because of the style and the design see this i wouldn't mind this is above the ankle it looks really cute these look so i do plan on making these um i'm not sure when i will make them 
it's probably something I'm thinking maybe if I can do in May or June, but I want to make these this summer in that type of fabric. And yeah, cause when I saw them, I was like, yes, those, those are good too. And again, I'll leave a link down in the description box. These are affiliate links. So just so everybody is aware, those who might be new to the channel, just so you are aware. So let's now turn our attention to this bag pattern. All right, everybody. So this is the Core Belt Bag by Core Fabrics. It's a free pattern. It also came out in March. Now, typically when patterns drop, I'm not one really for, unless I was a tester or something, that's usually the only exception. But usually when a pattern drop, I'm not one to, oh, let me hurry up and go sew it up. I need to sew that up right away. That's usually not my thing. It's like, okay, I know I want to make it. I'll probably schedule it, you know, fabrics, all of that. I kind of work, I have a different thinking process <laughs> unless I have fabric already in my stash. But this one dropped in March and I had to make it right away because I needed this. I needed this. I, um, when I walk, um, you know, when I'm exercising, I walk and all the other different stuff. I always have, well, as it gets hotter outside, I always wear a belt bag. But the belt bag I have is really small. Maybe I should uh, grab it real quick. Hold okay. And I did forget to mention something, you guys. Um, two fabric stores are closing. One is, me well, closed. I think Melanated Fabrics is officially closed now. When that came out, I didn't get a chance to uh, grab anything. I think by the time I looked, most of everything I would have wanted was gone already. Um, and then here in Houston, for those who are in the Houston area, High Fashion Fabrics is closing. Um, you need to follow them on their Facebook page because they're scheduled to close their last day is may 31st but they may close sooner obviously if inventory go and that was one of the places i went today stay tuned you will see and hear all about that coming up on the channel but anyway so i went to grab the belt bag i normally i don't know where i got this from um it was probably some freebie from something i've had for years upon years but anyway it's not very big as you can tell it has a pocket on the top um and then it has the zipper across the front and then it has a small zip which the only thing i would put in here in this front one is if i found change or something <laughs> on the ground while i was walking i'm looking for my measuring tape then i would just pick it up and put it in there um this one i would try to stabilize holding my phone because it's not a very deep pocket um, hold my phone because sometimes I'm listening to um, the news or talk radio or YouTube. Somebody's talking about something. I might listen while I'm walking in there. On the inside, I would keep um, my uh, pepper spray um, so for protection. I would have that in here. And when usually when I'm walking and I finish my water bottle, bottle even though in the community there's garbage uh receptacles everywhere but i usually bring it back home and just throw it in um but it doesn't fit in here and then i'm left walking with this in my hand <laughs> while i'm walking so when i saw the core belt bag by core fabrics free pattern drop in march i was like i am making it i'm just going to use scraps because i just want to see how this thing turn out if it's going to be big enough you know whatever and so that's exactly what i did she is done she is done she is done and i use all fabrics from my stash this fabric the main fabric is actually uh what i just picked up in wisconsin when i did my wisconsin fabric haul and i found this faux leather there um at the joann's and so i use that um for the outer my zipper is from my stash i just used a um antique zipper pull and that's uh, continuous tape is brown. I don't know if you can tell the tape is brown. And then my lining is just a, um, um, what is this? Waterproof canvas in brown. And so that's what, and I figured that would be good because this is much bigger than this. And I can fit my, after I'm done drinking my water, look at that. That goes in there beautifully. Pepper spray can still go in there. It fits beautifully. But the one modification I made was on the back. 
I added a um, mesh pocket for my phone. Let me show you how that looks. I'm gonna slide my phone in here. So I can have my phone in the back and I can hear and listen and all of that to whatever it is I'm listening to and easily and I don't have to you know prop it up I guess I could stand it up tall but I wouldn't I would just have it face down nice and snug in there um, I use the uh, elastic that's just stretch elastic that I use for the top of the mesh yeah I just measured out my phone how I want it to fit in there and I just kind of did a rough stitch around the top and made sure this here um, could come out so I can uh, fit my phone in there so quick review on this there is a full sew along on their YouTube channel for this so you can follow along and that's exactly what I did the sew along on the channel is like 10 11 minutes long it's not long and you can slow the speed down so that's what I did I just slowed the speed down because she talks kind of fast and so um and it's only you sewn up the whole thing in 10 minutes so obviously it takes longer than 10 minutes in real life in real time to sew it up so i just slowed the speed down um and pause whenever i needed to it's only four pattern pieces you have the back view the front view um the flap and then the side pieces and so yeah that is that's it that is it so super easy um one of the things um you do have an option for an inside pocket a pocket on the inside of your belt because you can wear it um as you all saw how um i don't know if i don't think i put in a picture but this is how i wear mine when i'm walking i just wear it like this and i measured it calls for two yards of webbing um but i end up cutting off like six inches of it because it was just too long and once you uh use the the buck the strap you because you can adjust the strap once i adjusted it all the way down to the smallest it was just way too big and this kind of feels still like I could have took out another inch but then I was like nah because you know if I wear a heavy sweater when it's cooler out when I'm walking I would want this around my sweater and yeah it is adjustable but I usually like it at the um the smallest you know the tightest uh width and so it I love it it just sits perfect it's perfect for my walk and um i can still my phone is next to me like as you can see i can still drop everything you know that i need in there um and so every all of the hardware is hardware that i have in my stash now the thing is what you will notice none of my hardware match <laughs> and that was perfectly fine i wasn't trying to make it match i um, you're supposed to have a D-ring. It costs for very minimum. Uh, you don't have to have the hardware. You need the zipper. But so far as, um, and you do need a slider. It says you can use, I think it said a plastic slider. Um, if you don't have like, you know, hardware maybe like this. Um, but I, this is not a circle D-ring. Um, a D-ring, this is a circle that I used. Um, this is, I don't know. This is all from my handbag stash. And so I use that instead of a D-ring. I did have a slider, but if you can tell, it's a rainbow color. <laughs> and then my swivel hook, one and a half inch wide, is it's the same color as this. So that worked out great. Um, I think I mentioned before, I need to order a lot of hardware. And so I was happy I was able to pull this out. Um, and so, yeah, it but you can also wear it crossbody like this. So you can wear a crossbody too. I wouldn't wear it like this walking um, cause I don't want anything. I'm usually sweating and all of that. So this is not that type of bag I will wear across my body, but down here, absolutely perfect. I highly recommend it. It is super easy. It does come in a couple different sizes, small, a small a large small and large the small is the finished measurement for the small is 13 by six by two and a half in depth and then the large core belt bag is 15 so the one that i finished it is 15 by eight by three in depth so this is absolutely perfect and as you can tell the one i had before can fit in there <laughs> 
just like that so yeah i highly recommend it a really easy make um I have some other projects like this that I'm going to be working on. I have a list that I want to share with you. So these are the type of things I will start sharing in the sewing buzz. Um, if it's something a little bit more in depth um, that requires a lot of, you know, you all know how I like to do. I like to kind of give tips and show things. I'll do a separate video. Maybe I'll highlight in the sewing buzz and then do a separate video if you all are interested. But this, it comes with a free, um, it's a free pattern, comes with the full YouTube video, all of that. I will link to it down in the description box. I will highly recommend Great Fabric Buster because I did use faux leather. I did have to use my, I use my denim needle. I use my walking foot and um, my top thread was the Guterman 70 and my bobbin thread was regular um and what else did i want to point out that was basically it and so sewed up beautifully and um no issues like i said the only thing that the pattern does not call for that i added was this uh pocket on the back because i would want it somewhere for my phone to be so i can still hear uh pretty good because i don't put earphones on or anything when i'm walking um so all right, everybody, I think that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Get your butterick pattern together if you're looking forward to doing the sew along. I should be able to do a sew along. Um, but um, I'll let you, you'll see. I'm pretty sure I should. I did look at the instructions. So, yes, pray for your girl. But um, that is it, everybody. That's all I have for today. Stay tuned for Wednesday's video. It will be my review for the Vogue 2000, the infamous that rock the sewing community infamous dvf wrap dress the authentic pattern so make sure you come back on wednesday to check that out um and yeah next week sunday just stay tuned so if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe don't forget to thumbs up this video i appreciate your support thank you everybody for tuning in today i am going to rest it has been a long but fun 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 it was so much fun today but you'll hear about all that in the future video all right everybody have a blessed one bye